I, think I said, hang fine. on. Uh, it, it's we're we're rolling. No, I mean, Brian, we're doing two in a row. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Hang on. Stopwatch on. Stopwatch engaged. Engage. Engage. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Starship Enterprise. I'm your host, Nikolai. And I am C uh, Captain Picard. That's correct. <laughs> You're Patrick Stewart. Hey, That's right. I'm right. just kidding. It's Brian. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian. I fooled you. I'm yep. not actually here with Patrick Stewart. Right. Although we that are here really cool. with Hugh Jackman. Uh, say hello. <laughs> he's quiet today. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just continue like he's not here. Yeah. Brian, what's up? Oh, you how's, know. How's the last couple minutes been? Uh, it's, it's been great. Um, how was your pee? <laughs> I decided I didn't have to. No. We'll see We'll see if that works out. Uh, my wife and I are probably going to go see a movie tonight. Ooh. Isn't that weird? Fancy. She felt like it. Hmm. And that's very rare. <laughs> Ooh. Are, are you going to go see Lord of the Rings? Is that what you're doing? Or? No, that's Monday. I don't know oh, if we're okay. actually going to do that because, right. you know, it's a work night and yeah. stuff. But that would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, do, so is it just a regular the theater they're doing that in, or yeah, oh. the Evergreen one? I was hoping it was IMAX. Uh, yeah. If it was IMAX, I'd like. I mean, maybe I, I, I might go see that. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I did get to see Return of the King in IMAX. That was pretty sweet. That's cool. We we there were no seats left, so we were literally like sitting on the floor. But it was still oh worth gosh. it. <laughs> it's still worth it. It was great. They let you do that. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, they sold tickets to us, so I guess. <laughs> Yeah. No, I know where to sit, but hey, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. So I've been, I've been, uh, I've thought about this on, on and off, and this is a good avenue for me to, to, to like <gasps> explore it. Uh, so I'm just going to go in, ahead in and a talk public about forum. It. Yeah. So I, I thought a lot about like, friendships and friendships. It, as, uh, like making friends as an adult how friendships yeah, work, hard. <laughs> how I classify friend versus acquaintance versus best friend versus whatever. Okay. Um, now these, uh, this isn't something like I thought about this beforehand. And every time I like make an interaction, I categorize someone. It's not <laughs> yes. like that. It's more like <laughs> I, thought, about it all the I time. thought back about all the relationships I've had with people and like, okay, here's how I would categorize them now. Okay. So going from uh, like, least um close to most close most close is going to be actual family members and Hello. like people who we've kind of adopted into the family yeah. more or less not literally but like we treat them as if they, they are, are our brothers now. or sisters yeah. or whatever the griffins are family right. to us right uh even though n none of them are blood related to us at all um correct on the opposite end of the spectrum, you just have complete strangers, people you've never met. Yes. So that is the spectrum. all the in between is what I'm going to talk about here. So we have, um, there's people you don't know. There's people, I don't really have a name for this, but there's people that you know who they are, but they don't know who you are. <laughs> yes. And this can get into the whole parasocial relationship yeah. thing with like YouTubers and stuff. But there's also just like, Hey, uh, my friend, uh, my friend John, yeah. or whoever you know and, of this, and I talk to John. you about this guy John sometimes, yeah. but you've never met him, right? I've only heard, but of you this know who he is because John, yeah. he's a friend of mine, and I talk about him at the uh, that that sort of thing. Yeah, Schrodinger's John. Yeah. <laughs> then you have actual acquaintances. You have met this person. You have been introduced. You know their name. You know what they look like. Or maybe not in today's age. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you've only met them online. You know their username. Yeah. And uh, and then you have what I call friendly acquaintances. Yeah. There's they're a not, lot of, there's a lot they're of not those. at the level of friend. Yeah. You don't you wouldn't call them a friend, but you know them. And you don't just know who they are, you, you know actually them know a them. A little bit. Yeah. You and you may have known them for like twenty years. Yeah. They might be somebody you <laughs> kind of grew up usually. with, but don't, but you just don't talk to them very much. Much you don't yeah. hang out. You don't go to each other's houses. You yeah. don't. You might both go to the same party, but like when you're there, you don't talk to each other except yeah. to say hi. You just exist in the same circles, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people that fit this category at our church. Yeah, because we've gone to the same church for yeah over for 20, twenty plus years. years. So like yeah, yeah there's. 
people and families that we have known for a very long time, but we're not really friends, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say. Like, I say congrats to them when they're when they're having a baby or yeah, something. Yeah. And like, yeah, but that's about it. And then, and then you have friends, actual friends. The, these are people that you that you go out of your way to talk to mm-hmm. that you might hang out with. You try to at least schedule hanging out with, mm-hmm. um, which is very difficult. Yeah. And then when you go on from there, when you move on from there, that's when the way I think of it is like this, say um, at school, cause like most of us went to a school when we were kids and we were, we were in schools from the age of like five or six all the way up to 18. Mm -hmm. And so we made a lot, a lot of people made most of their first friendships in a school. Uh, If you hang out with that, if you make a friend at school, they might be just a friend, but if you hang out outside of school, yeah, that's when they move up from friend to close friend. Right. In my mind. That makes sense. Same with uh, coworkers. Coworkers, yeah. If you you might have a coworker that has graduated from just coworker to actual friend. Yeah. You you guys don't you don't just talk because you're coworkers. You right. talk because oh we actually get along. Mm-hmm. We look forward to seeing each other at work. We chat when we get the chance. We talk about non work related stuff. Mm-hmm. If and you, if you hang out with each other, then outside of work, you're close friends rather yeah, than fr- you're upgrading. just friends. Yeah. Um, at our at our church, uh, if if it's a if there's someone at church that I hang out with outside of church, that's right. a close friend Often rather than niche. just a friend. Yeah, right. Definitely. So you have like church friends, work friends, school friends, people that you ha- are friends with, but only at the place right. where you know them from. Yes. But when you hang out outside of that, that's when they're close. Yeah, it's interesting learning how, like, you can be you can talk so much with like a coworker and stuff, mm-hmm. but if you like leave the job or whatever. You never speak again. Yeah. Because you weren't really close. Right. You just happened to talk a lot because you worked in the same place. And it's funny because sometimes <laughs> that coworker might know more about you than some of your actual friends. Yeah. Just because you spend just a lot you of time with them. Just because you have more time together. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's very strange sometimes coworker relationships. Yeah. I feel a lot of, so like some of these lines can get blurred. Sure. But sure. Uh, I feel like it was, per, it was there was a pretty, um, hard line distinction when I was back in school, when I was still in school. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's like I had friends. I had my best friends. I used the, I would use the term best friend, like defer to Ben. Who is still your best friend. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yes. Which is Uh, awesome. So we still hang out with him. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah. Sometimes it just works out. But yeah, but it it is interesting as an adult, because for one thing, you tend to just not, necessarily have as much time to hang out and so I know, I know. there's the struggle of trying to uh slot in time for friends yeah and also so you and i are kind of unique in that uh we're super close with our families yeah but we hang out with our family so we hang out lot. with our families <laughs> a lot a lot of people in our at our age yeah are not like that at all they don't really they only fr- spend time with their family like almost holidays. out of obligation yeah like on holidays and stuff and otherwise they're hanging out with their friends yeah and so like i don't actually spend a lot of time with my friends yeah That's nice. yeah it's really interesting how i think we are sort of unique in that because i don't think yeah that happens very often mm-hmm. with our age group is mostly hanging out with your family mm-hmm. <laughs> and i hang out with my best friend all the time my wife <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are we are definitely best friends um like i have a few friends, one mm-hmm. in particular that I haven't seen in many months, probably, yeah. and that I don't even really talk to on, you know, texting or anything, but like, I really care about them also and would yeah. love to hang out with them more. Mm-hmm. You know, probably who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I don't want to name too many names on a public forum, yeah. but um, and I'm like, I feel really bad because like, I hope they know I still think of them as a good friend. Uh-huh. But also, I think they do. But yeah, when they're when you when they're like a really close friend, so, uh, you often can, and especially with guys, it seems yeah. more so like this. We can not speak to each other for, for six months time. and then yeah. talk, and it's like, and it's like we were just 
we we never had a gap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think that is often the case. But yeah, even with your closer friends, it's like you get to hang out every six months sometimes. Yeah, just because it's like you all you all work and have other obligations and other relationships and yeah, yeah I can't hang out every weekend because I'm busy on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm busy doing all the other stuff I haven't done on the weekdays. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really tough, actually. I couldn't imagine trying to make new friends, too, purposefully. Like, That's, the friendships yeah. just sort of happen for yeah. me. Like, and, I pretty I mean, much never force been, them Yeah, because it's too hard. Yeah, like, I was, I was thinking about this because I haven't really... I've only made maybe two or three friends in my adult life. Right. Yeah, I've only made a couple. And so, so. like, I, I, I was kind of wondering, wait, how do you make friends? Like, how did I make friends when I was younger? And so I would yeah. think back, like, okay, to think about it. jump back into the past in my brain and go, Snap okay, back to how did it actually happen? What did it, And so it was generally, in school, it was really easy because here's the thing. You're all, no one wants to be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally safe no one wants safe assumption, to be there. usually, yeah. <laughs> and, but we're forced to. Maybe a couple weirdos, but yeah. Yeah, but we're all forced to be there because of truancy laws and all that uh -huh. stuff. Uh, <laughs> and none of us are, and we're not homeschooled, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Uh -huh. So, uh, and this te what this teacher is talking about right now is really boring. So, hey, what's your name? What do you, what do? You do? <laughs> Let's do, what do you like? anything else. <laughs> Like oh that's a, that's a cool anime pin. So what uh, what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> what do you much. like to watch? What what anime do you like? <laughs> and uh, yeah. you just go from there. And so uh, the only place I go to that is like that is my church. Is church? Yeah. Like uh, in my place of work, I guess. But like I already yeah. know everybody that I am uh, that I sit next to at work. Mm -hmm. So like there's no new potential for friendship there. I or uh, so. The only place I go to where like new people actually come in and out. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, I guess at a job you do have sometimes have turnover. And yeah. so then you have For new sure. employees coming on. But uh, like I sit, so like I, I work in a lab and I sit in a row of benches and there's two other people that sit in my row. One of them is already my best friend. Yeah. And then the, another He's one is friend. a coworker I've known now for three or four years. Yeah. And like, that's kind of it. I don't really talk to the other people in the lab hardly ever. And so there's not a lot of potential for fr and usually new friendships because usually with a coworker, you can tell how far the friendship is going to go right after yeah. a while and so yeah it's mm -hmm. yeah yeah i never got super close with any coworkers. i worked mm -hmm. at a grocery store for a few years yeah um before i did my my own business and um i never became close friends with any of them i would say yeah but i'm still friends with a mm -hmm. few of them like Facebook, yeah. especially. Yeah, and like stuff I had and... work buddies. Yeah. At a few jobs that I've had, uh, I I only had one friend, uh, one coworker that I ever hung out with outside of work. Yeah. There was one guy that I hung out with outside of work. I maybe a did of times. technically with them because they I invited a few of them to my wedding and they came. Oh yeah. So I guess technically that was outside of work, but. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if it's just a one time thing, yeah. that's maybe a little different than. Yeah. But. Yeah. but the friend I just I mentioned earlier, who I would like to hang out with more, who's one of my closer friends, I met at work, but they were a customer. Right. A regular and that's another customer. thing is, so I don't have, uh, I talk to customers, but only over the phone. Right. We me, don't have people walk into the lab. Yeah. So. Me, I see them almost every day because I'm making them their sandwich for lunch or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah, I and it was an anime pin. Uh -huh. Or like keychain, I think that started the conversation. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, like one of my coworkers, who's now like one of my work buddies, uh, I saw on his phone a uh, One Punch Man screen uh, screen mm -hmm. lock uh, screensaver. Like, like Ooh, oh, anime, good. We, I've got a, I've got an in. What? Uh -huh. So, <laughs> oh, cool. You like One Punch Man, eh? Do you like any other anime? What other what anime? Do you, you like? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's have the anime conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, having a finding your common interest is the big yeah is and a that's big that's part pretty much it. how all of my friendships i've ever started is common interest yeah for and sure. my closest friends tend to have multiple common interests yes yeah. yeah like uh hanging out with my wife even for instance when we mm -hmm. first met and she sort of she sort of became friends with the whole family because, yeah. we, because we met at church and so what's nice about church 
is you already have, you know, you have a similar belief system. Yeah. Which yep. means you automatically have a common interest, sort of, which mm -hmm. is very helpful. <laughs> yeah. So that is one of the nice things about church friends, basically. Uh, but then we bonded really over like Doctor Who, yeah, which is a sci-fi uh, TV show, if you don't know, which you're living under a rock. Um, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, because yeah, common interest is huge. And then I got her into anime. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Well, she's even sort of into video games a little bit, like Super a little Mario 64 older and a couple ones, of others. especially the ones but, yeah. she grew up with. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's like, like got my best friend ben we're both yep. into video games both into anime so there's that um friend tim uh who sometimes listens to the podcast hey, hi, tim. hi tim uh <laughs> he uh we're both into star wars we're both into computers and tech techie stuff. stuff yeah you get your tech um, nerds for sure he does play some video games but not a lot yeah um yeah we talk about n64 sometimes because yeah. That's his thing, too. He watched a couple of anime when he was, like, a teenager, I think, but uh, yeah, doesn't really not much. consistently watch it. But yeah. Not really an anime guy, yeah. yeah. Our friend Kyle, also big into video games and anime. Yep. Hi, Kyle. I don't think yeah. you listen. You should listen. Yeah. If you're listening. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Actually, Doctor Who was a huge thing for me and him, too. Yeah. Because he's huge into Doctor Who. Yep. It was cool. Um, so, I've also known ben for a long time obviously mm -hmm. but when i knew him i was like in middle school you know i was your well, annoying you were even or... younger than that when when i first initially knew ben, yeah because yeah. uh i first met ben at when i was 15 so you were eight right super young yeah so for a long time i was your annoying little brother basically right it's very interesting to now be an adult and now me and ben are friends yeah. like separately just from you like uh -huh. we can talk for a long time and we have tons to talk about usually yeah like we play board games and stuff like you know happily and stuff mm -hmm. it's very interesting to see that transition happen mm -hmm. go from annoying brother to actual friends yeah yeah because it turns out life is basically just a um social link game where you <laughs> yeah so basically it's persona yeah if you think about it life is just persona 4 mm -hmm. stay away from tvs yes. when it's really stormy you know, <laughs> you never know what'll happen and stay away from detectives who seem really nice and quirky mm -hmm. because, you know, you never know. It turns out they're murderers. You probably. never know, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So friendship, it's an interesting thing. Tell us about your friendships in the comments. <laughs> I never really, so like, I didn't have a lot of online friends. Um, I have had a few, but like yeah. they never lasted beyond the... So I think the online equivalent to the real life thing of you meet in school and then you hang out outside of school is you meet on a forum or in a chat room or on a video uh, online video game yep. and then you hang out outside of that. Right. Right. I, most of my online friendships did not outlast the platform that I met them on. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So like if I met, if I made friends on a forum and then that forum just died, mm -hmm. I lost all contact right. with most of those friends generally yep there's a it's funny there's two people who are facebook friends with me who uh i have known since like 2003 uh, as purely online friends we have never yep. met in person we've never had a voice uh not even a voice conversation chat? Nope. only to only, only text, text wow. and pictures that's uh, crazy we met through online forums and then it went to MySpace, and then it moved to Facebook. <laughs> How funny. So I don't think I've talked about this in the podcast, mm -hmm. so this will be good. Um, I'm going to guess 13 years ago, because I think I was about 13 mm -hmm. uh, when this happened. Um, I was in, I'm sort of an anime YouTuber, not really. I uploaded anime illegally, basically. <laughs> yeah. You know, back in the day when you'd find part one of three english dubbed this anime yeah. on youtube um and um so sort of through that but also through just uh talking with people who made anime abridged series mm -hmm. or people who did fan dubs yeah. for, for fun and stuff like that people who made amvs yep that kind of group i was in that crowd a little bit talking with people mm -hmm. and i was invited to a uh, a chat group who were just people who we're into that and it was like 10 other people mm -hmm. 
and um i was by far the youngest there yeah <laughs> but uh we got along really well and we would do skype call it was on skype mm -hmm. and we would do skype yeah. calls like just group group calls it's funny most of my friends weren't on skype so i yeah. missed the whole skype era. I was, it was like all skype for some reason like mm -hmm. at that time it was fairly common i guess because mine mine was ventrilo and uh yeah. team speak yeah because but because it was groups that came from like world of warcraft and other online games so yeah that, and that was kind of the go-to uh voice chat system for those kinds of games was team speak or ventrilo mm -hmm. yeah so and these this group of people were awesome mm -hmm. they were some of, they were my first real online friends yeah who i'm still friends with on facebook a few of them and I still will like randomly comment on something with them yeah. or something. And it's really cool to see where some of them have gone. Mm -hmm. Like one of them, we called him, we all called him Bob. He yeah. was so, he was so funny. Um, he went on to work on animated shows. Mm -hmm. He works with like WB and like, wow, he, yeah. works, he works on real big shows. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is a professional voice actress now. She does Funimation dubs and stuff, Yeah, which is so awesome. Her name's Rachel. She's great. Um, anyway, it's just really cool to see some of them actually do what they wanted to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was funny. Our, our group actually made, um, uh, if you're, do you remember the Brony times? Oh yeah. <laughs> actually, I was thinking we should call this episode Friendship is Magic. Just uh -huh. saying. Uh, <laughs> so at the time, My Little Pony was huge at its right. height. Yep. And so was Epic Meal Time. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we made... Going epic cupcake time yep um we had friends who could do the voices really well and so it was me bob and brandon i think was the three of us mm -hmm. um they sort of mostly ran it but i threw in a few things i yeah. did write some of the lines we wrote uh that whole that whole first thing and that got pretty huge like millions and millions of views yeah which was really well, cool especially actually. Uh, like especially after someone went and animated the it. animated someone version. else yeah. outside of that group right it was a it was a friend so yeah. They, yeah they they approved it and everything yes the animated version especially yeah because yeah. we first made just an audio uh version because we none of us were animators <laughs> right but it was really cool to have like stuff you wrote on bootleg t-shirts and yeah. like things like that i'm like that was that's one of the biggest things i was i'd say i was a part of mm -hmm. which and i'm not and i have no credit anywhere for it right so you just have to take my word for it yeah <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah uh it was fun but that was a really fun group that was yeah. really cool yeah I still, uh, I still love those guys i had so i had a couple of friends through um so the first internet forum i was ever on was gaia online back in 2000 yeah. all the way back in 2004 early 2004 that's what made me like anime yeah <laughs> was uh, that mostly? so i had a couple of friends because this was back when i was into zoids and so Heck i had yeah. found a couple of other people that were into zoids and like oh yeah okay we are now friends uh definitely and i met a few other people through there and then um I moved over to the Bungie.net forums and I was playing Halo 2 on Xbox Live. And so I had a couple of friends that I made through that. Yeah. And then I moved on to World of Warcraft. Uh-oh. And so I, I joined a guild um, and... Uh, oh, gosh. I can't remember the name of the guild. Wow. <gasps> anyway. No. That's messed oh, up. Oh, well. Uh, so I was part of this guild and we were really more of a social guild. We didn't do like raid dungeons together and stuff. Not really. We okay. didn't really have the level of organization or skill to pull that off. So we just chatted with each other. And our guild leader, she was this lady in her like 50s or 60s who was just retired yeah. and just That's spent so all of her funny. free time playing video games. Uh, she, she apparently, before... Um, before World of Warcraft, she played one called Ashron's Call, and she was a guild leader on there. And it was her guild was just called like the Family or something. The Family, <laughs> like like a mafia or something. Yeah, but yeah, heck yeah. And uh, so I had some, and frankly, when I was uh, getting ready to quit that game because it, I was just not having fun anymore yeah. playing WoW, uh, the only reason I was logging in was to chat with them. Yep. And uh, even after I quit, I would just a couple of times, I occasionally would pop into the Hit them up, yeah. TeamSpeak and just uh, chat with people. But uh, 
yeah, it didn't really last very long. Again, once the once I got off the platform, I pretty much stopped talking to everybody yep. on it. Yep. It's been interesting. You think of those times, and you don't really f remember the last time. Or yeah. you don't really remember exactly how and why it ended, you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. yeah. And then, it's of course... It's sad a little bit, but... All throughout that, uh, I was using AOL Instant Messenger and Yahoo Messenger and... Uh, for sure. MSN Messenger. Yeah. And uh, I never was on ICQ or um, IRC, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know yeah. but I, I, IRCs at all. Yeah, basically. but I was on AIM, Yahoo, MSN, and uh, Skype. Yeah, I did MSN a little bit, but then yeah. it mo mostly moved to Skype. Yeah. Yeah. It was decent as just a yeah. text chat and I remember, platform. So, like. There's certain etiquette you eventually learn. Oh yeah. Uh, on chat, and uh, I really got I got to learn how s different people treat things like instant messenger. It was really, I was felt, felt it was a little odd because hmm. here was my thing: is if I am logged in, that means I am available to talk. Yeah. Period. If I'm if you see that I am online, you are free to uh, con uh, to talk to me as much as you want. Mm -hmm. That. If I didn't want that, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't show as online. Yeah. You can always say away or yeah. do not disturb. You can make, you be can away, you that. can appear offline while being logged in yeah. still. Uh, but there were some people, they were like, okay, when I log in, please wait a few minutes before you talk to me. Do not speak to me. And I think it was, I think these were people that had way, way more people talking to them than me. Yeah. A lot these of These were people that were like really popular and just had tons of people. Yeah. But, that's probably true. And so I think that's all that was, but. That makes sense. Yeah. And then there were people like, if, if I have this status, just don't talk to me. Like, and, or it was like, they might be online, but and you'd send them a message and they just would not respond for like sometimes hours. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. But, but I got to learn people's habits over time. Like, yeah. oh, okay, don't message them until after they've been logged on for at least a few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, if you message them while they're, even if it shows them online, they might not respond for several hours. Uh, and, mm -hmm. yeah. And I had, I had some friends that I basically only talked to through AIM. Mm -hmm. uh, me, Ben, and a couple of our, of our other friends uh, standardized on MSN Messenger for a while. And as it evolved into Windows Live Messenger and... Right. And then eventually into Skype because Microsoft bought Skype. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Skype was the thing for yeah. a while. And then it was fun, though. Eventually, years later, times. Discord comes out and is like, oh, yep, okay, this one's actually good. That is the thing now. <laughs> because yeah. it was, it, we were struggling to find the one that was actually good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Discord is by far the standard now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really go. I don't do Discord, really. I don't have online yeah. friends anymore. Yeah, well, and so, like, I hear people that I guess just join, like, public Discord yeah. servers. Yeah. Because, like, They're I don't huge know. Huge chat rooms. Yeah. Usually based on some content creator yeah. of some sort. Oh, well, yeah. Th there are those too. But I'm always yeah. like, like, how do you meet people through Discord? Because like, I've only ever been in private servers just that, join where I servers. knew everybody on them. Yeah. So like, I, like how, how how do you actually meet people through Discord? It's weird, yeah, it's very but, interesting. Yeah. It seems very deep and complicated. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, like I don't know I don't that know. scene at all. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of it now. We're too yeah. old. <laughs> Oh, there was there was another forum I, I was a part of that uh, wasn't like a role playing forum. MMM. Um, no, uh, <laughs> that that was before. That yeah. was, that was during all that. But um, uh, this was a little later. Uh, it was a, a role playing forum, just a general role playing forum. They had lots of different ones going on. Huh, okay. And uh, that was that was another thing is early two thousands role playing in yeah, forums that was, was a big huge. Thing. Um, for sure. And they they at the bottom of the web page there was just a chat room. And uh, just anybody could just, just pop in, pop yeah. in at any time. Uh, so I remember I'd, I'd log in there uh, every once in a while and just chat with people. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, ever since like ever since like the Facebook era, it's mm -hmm. pretty much been like unless unless they're on Facebook, I don't really talk to them. Yeah. Whoever they are. Yep. That's that is pretty much true. Yeah, I pretty much only talk to. Yeah, like I said, I don't have online friends anymore, really. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I don't have time for it. I don't think, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. So that's that. Yep. Friendship, friendship. friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. I'm not a brony anymore. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will admit. A, a I was brony. one. Former <laughs> brony. I was. A, I am a former brony. Uh, it's like Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. It's, it's not a proud moment, but yeah. listen, it's a decent show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Decent little cartoon. <laughs> <sighs> the good old. The good old days. Such a simpler time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I. I haven't. So like, I haven't really played online games much. In I never a long did. Time. I played I played the Gaia RPG a good right. amount because that was actually pretty fun. Yeah, well, because uh, like I played Halo Two and then Halo Three yeah, for a Halo. long time. I played WoW for Halo a couple of years. Halo was the only one I really played, and I played Halo Three, three for especially sev- for multiple years. Yeah, me too. We we did it together. Yeah, because uh-huh. that was awesome. <laughs> and then uh, I, I remember I played Warcraft Three uh, online for oh, a yeah. while because uh, they found it. So for some reason. No one really knows why, but some people could host games and other people could not. Hmm. No one knew the magic formula <laughs> for how how the you're formula. able to host games because all games were play uh, the games were player hosted. Mm-hmm. So uh, you had to how find. How do you become a host? If if a group of players wanted to play a game, they had to find someone who was capable of hosting. And well, it turned out I could. <gasps> Whoa! And Ben was like, "You can host games," and so, uh, Nani. He would he would sometimes be like, "Hey, uh, could could you could you host a game?" Could you host a game. For it's me? like he he wouldn't like push it if I didn't want to play, but like yeah. if I wanted to play at all, he's like, "Yes, please, just host games all host day it, for please. us, please." <laughs> host it, please. That's so funny. Yeah. How weird. So uh, I would I would host uh, like HeroCraft to Light. Um, would host um, tower, soldier tower defense, mm-hmm. which okay, it, like the fact that those games started as Warcraft three custom games mm-hmm. and have become their own genres of games yeah. is pretty Seriously. crazy. Like Dota, Dota was Dota, a custom, yeah. was just a Warcraft three custom game. Yep, it was it was not its so own crazy. game type yet. <laughs> so interesting, but yeah, yeah, we were sort of into the. Um, it was mostly Ben trying to get us to play stuff mm-hmm. uh, a lot of the time. Because I remember TF2 was a big thing for a while. Yeah, because he was huge into that game, and I was yeah. just terrible. Yeah, I was not good And either. no matter how much I played, it seemed it didn't seem to matter. Yep. That I never seemed to get any better. Yeah. I just don't know the trick to it. And, like, most people who play TFT, TF2 now are just really good at it. Yeah, so now I couldn't imagine trying the to play skill, it. Uh, it's um, basically... Yeah. Like Overwatch before Overwatch. Yeah, I would say yeah, Overwatch kinda. is the new TF2. Uh huh. And even then, Overwatch is now like old news, and there's yeah. other there's for sure. Stuff. Well, now yeah, now it's Apex. And yeah, stuff. Apex. Still, mm-hmm. Fortnite still huge. Yeah, Fortnite for sure. Especially as they keep bringing in like anime characters and Goku's stuff. in it right now. <laughs> you can be Goku, and you can oh you God. can fly on Nimbus and stuff. It's you awesome. can finally answer the question: Could X beat Goku? <laughs> yep. Because now Goku has a machine gun. Yep. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, that game is so ludicrous. Yeah. It almost seems kind of fun now because yeah. of just how insane it is. Yeah. So I'm just not going to get into that. Though. I've still never played a battle royale game. Yeah, I mean, I've only played Fall Guys. So, yeah. Which is technically a battle royale. Yeah. But, like, but I haven't played, like, a so. Battle Royale shooter, like yeah. PUBG or Fortnite or Apex. I don't or... think I'll ever have the time to get into a shooter again, so yeah. I probably just won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like we had I'll our mess Halo, around in Halo t- maybe a little bit, and but that's it. Yeah. We've moved on. I'd like lives. to try Halo Infinite multiplayer, mm-hmm. but, yeah, that's, that's about it, I think, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, like, I've played... Uh, oh. Age of Empires 2 online a bit, just really just with Ben. Like, uh, we played co op against um, other computer players. And uh, so fun. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah, no, that's fun. good. That's good. Um, I, played, I played a ranked game just once against another yeah. person and lost. Yeah. So, yeah. I like, I like board games. Yeah. I much prefer that. 
mm-hmm. to to like an online like game of some sort with friends yeah. i'd much rather sit at a table with friends and play a board game so much rather yeah. do that you know it's funny is i i would want to play a digital board game <laughs> yeah i would not i don't like digital board games i love uh, so if I they're done to. well i really like digital board games because i don't like dealing with the setup and all the pieces and i love components yeah good components to a board game and stuff it's all i'm all about it like i'd love to play risk on the switch sometime which i've got yeah um because i feel some like, older games i get yeah. a little more like i have on the switch i have a game called wingspan mm-hmm. which is one of my favorite board games yeah. it's such a good board game but on the switch i like can't wrap my head around it yeah like i can't get the same feeling under an understanding of the game mm. in that digital format basically yeah. i don't know it would just take practice i think but yeah, yeah. It's interesting playing Mahjong digitally because yeah, uh, so fast. it actually teaches you some bad habits, though, because when you're playing in real life, the idea is you're going to stare at your hand and listen to what people are discarding because you're supposed to say whatever you're discarding. Right. You're supposed to call it out. I am discarding this n- number of this suit Yeah. as you put it down. You're supposed to be staring at your hand, listening, going, I need that, grab, and put yep. it in, or just... Going, nope, don't need that, and letting and it pass and to the next person. Yeah. Whereas when you play it, it digitally, it trains you to not pay attention to discards mm-hmm. and only uh, just look for the prompts for, oh, by the way, you can use this tile if you want it. Yeah. Do you want to show this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that is weird. But because you're supposed to. You're supposed to be aware of what's on the table, what's been discarded, so right. that you know what to, like, do yeah, strategically sure. and yeah <laughs> yeah i totally see that but i do love that club games 51 yeah. on the switch oh it's don't so get me wrong good. that's a great so it's still good. a fun way to play mahjong yeah and it's so fast and a few other games yeah <laughs> and yes <laughs> it is for sure that and, i get and you can't you can't do it wrong right it won't let you break the rules <laughs> yeah that's actually another thing i like about digital games is it does if you're not super clear on the rules it's okay because the game won't let you do yeah. it wrong yeah so <laughs> yeah that kind of digital game i like i get i think it's the more complicated board games like wingspan mm-hmm. that i don't that i just can't quite grasp as well yeah but something like mahjong or chess like chess is great oh know, yeah chess uh, online transfers to digital exactly very same, well basically yeah. um hanafuda is really good actually on that mm. uh koi koi is yeah. really good on that on the switch really love that but yeah have i ever have i mentioned my monopoly collection on this podcast do you think i think i think we maybe briefly did maybe. you want to go into a little more yeah. detail but uh, so Monopoly has always been a big part of my life, mm-hmm. <laughs> mostly because of my uh, father, who is now passed. But um, we Monopoly was like a thing with him for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he had, you know, he had his plethora of house rules, as most people do with Monopoly. Yeah. But his were very specific mm-hmm. and really fun to me as a kid, you know? Oh, yeah. I thought it was awesome. I mean, I, I learned now that it's that it just sort of drags the game on. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. As a kid, it didn't matter. It seems matter. like most house rules make yeah. Monopoly take longer <laughs> true. than it actually than it normally but, does. Um, so because of that, I always had a, like a, a nostalgic soft spot for Monopoly. And so I don't, I don't remember when I started. It was many years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, if you don't know, they have a they put out new new Monopolies all the time. <laughs> Yeah, if you can think of a popular TV show Anything. or series or whatever, um, there's probably a there's monopoly, a monopoly for it. And and then besides the you know pop culture ones, there's mm-hmm. a million just like different style, just slightly different style or you know genre, all these different things. Mm-hmm. And so I started to just collect them, um, yeah. either just because they're really cool. Like, you know, I have the Legend of Zelda Monopoly and I have Pokemon Monopoly and multiple Mario ones, no. uh, different Nintendo ones. Um, and then also like scouring Goodwill is a great place yeah. <laughs> to find Monopolies. Um, and then I've had uh, a few Christmas presents that were like the luxury Monopolies. Yeah. Uh, I have two different ones that are like huge wood boxes basically that Mm -hmm. are really high quality components and stuff so those are super cool 
Um, and to this day, I have over 40 yeah. in my collection now. <laughs> 43, maybe, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, which is really cool. My most recent was from you, actually, for yeah, my birthday. The Avatar, Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. Really good one. Very yeah. cool Monopoly. Um, and it's funny, I don't play it that much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we don't actually play Monopoly very much, right. mostly because it takes too long, yeah. even with the base rules. Um, but I still, like, love it. Like, I love the look of the board. Like, I have mugs with, yeah. like, the board on it and stuff. Yeah, I just like the aesthetic of yeah. Monopoly. It's kind like of. how I love the game Risk, but we never yeah. play because it We're just takes too it. long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but just aesthetic-wise and stuff, I'm a I'm a Monopoly man. No. Yeah. Anyway, that's just very fun. So, hey, if you're out there and you want to get me a gift, uh, get me Monopoly. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially the the more unique of one, the exactly. better, because he probably has all the others. <laughs> I just got. Uh, not just got but one of the more recent ones is that they put out a new target edition. Oh yeah. Um, there's a really old one from the early two thousands that I don't have that I really want, but, um, like literally it's target themed. Yeah. Like, like uh, the store, target. the store yeah. target. Yeah. <laughs> like the, like the little tokens are like target related, <laughs> like mm -hmm. the little <laughs> basket or like a shopping cart and stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Wow. There's, there's some good ones. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some of my favorite ones. Mm. Uh, the original Super Mario Bros. has mm -hmm. a really good one. Yeah. I have that. That's really nice. Uh, I have a really nice Godzilla one. Yeah. That has different monsters yeah. and stuff. Really, really good. Uh, yeah. What was? What stuff. is your favorite piece to play as in, in a stock Monopoly game? Oh, like a stock piece? Yep. Um, well, Brian, it depends on what era because there's multiple, st many stock pieces. But, um, oh, it's so tough. I was a car man for a long time. Yeah. Um, I, I am a thimble player. Yeah. I'm all about the thimble. That, that's good. I like that. Um, I will say, I would say I'm either the car, the top hat or the cannon. Yes. So when I was a little kid, I was always I like the, the cannon. cannon a lot, but mostly, I started being the thimble mostly because most, I like the more. feel of it. I got older. Um, like the little weird wheel thing in the middle yeah, yeah. that it has. Uh, I like, I like that a lot just as a piece as mm -hmm. like a, the feel of it. I'm going to, I'm going to go with that or the top hat. I okay. think, uh, big fans of both, but I like them all in a, in a way. Mm -hmm. Cause the iron is really nice too. Oh yeah. I'm, a, I'm an iron fan also, but, uh, it's funny. The battleship's really cool, but mm -hmm. that's too obvious of a choice. That's why I don't, <laughs> pick, that's why I don't pick it. I think I've played as just about every piece. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Which is funny I'm because sure like well. it's not like a game I really loved to play necessarily, yeah. but yeah. I have a special edition. Uh it's called the Token. It's like Token Madness, I think it's called or something. And it came with 30 <laughs> plus tokens. It's wow. an official monopoly. Yeah. And it's every one you can think of plus a bunch of weird ones. Yeah. There's some really good weird ones in there. Like there's a loaf of bread that I love. I'm like a loaf <laughs> nice. of bread. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Just, there's some really good uh, movers out there. As far as other, uh, like one of my very favorites is from the, the America edition, mm -hmm. which is a really good monopoly. Um, but it has an apple pie <laughs> token. Nice. I love that. Absolutely love that one. Yes, yes, there's many. Obviously, the Nintendo ones are really good. Mm. There's a great, like, there's a DK barrel that, nice. I, that I like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the Hylian Shield from the Legend of Zelda one, obviously. That's 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 a, that's a an easy one. Yeah. Anyway, I could go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. It's very fun. Yeah. And I love Monopoly money. Yeah. I love the, the varieties there, too. Yeah. Okay, so in the last episode, we started talking about food. Yeah. And that, man, that's an easy thing to talk about. Yeah. So let's get back into it. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's get back into food, okay? Yeah. Where do you want to go with this? Because I mentioned possibly making a tier list of fast food. We do not have yeah. to do that today necessarily, but uh, we maybe We could probably do one pretty quick. Maybe in a future episode, we could really yeah. deep dive into it, though, you yeah. know? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. For me, um, like I was saying, I think Carl's Jr. is probably gonna get my highest score for fast food really yeah interesting like i would never think to do that i just think that their food is a higher quality it than is most fast food i, I would agree actually 
but I still never choose it for some reason. Mm. I even like their, they have great fries too. Yeah. No. <sighs> yeah. I don't know why I don't go there. Mm-hmm. I'll have to go there again. Yeah. Just randomly. See how I feel about it. Because one time I got, I bought a Carl's Jr. burger. I bought a Jack in the Box burger and I bought a Burger oh, yeah. King burger and I tried them all side by side. This was fun. Side. I remember watching you do yeah. this. It's So it's kind of hard to find, unless it's advertised, the yeah. size of burgers yeah. at places. Because Whoppers are bigger than most burgers. Yeah. Well, wider at least. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. still, like... They're thin, but yeah, they're wide. Yeah, because they're not any thinner, really, than like a Carl's Jr. burger. Sure. But they're wider, for sure. And yeah, a lot of them are like uh, quarter pounders or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, otherwise, it's hard to... They don't say if, if it's a third pound or whatever. Yeah, yeah that is kind of interesting. Actually, one of my favorite burgers is is Jack in the Box. Yeah, the, and that's funny because it's that's fair. At least from what I've seen online, it's a fairly um, it's not liked. Yeah, it's yeah. not a well liked restaurant. They at rip all. it apart constantly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm wondering if it's our franchises that are better well, than so others. So I, I think Jack in the Box got worse after a certain yes. point. No, they definitely because did. in like 2006, yeah, when we were Jack going in the a Box lot. was good. Yeah. I remember the first time I ate there and I was like, this beats the crap out of McDonald's. Yeah. Why would I, why, where has this been all my life? It definitely life? tastes more like a real burger uh-huh. than McDonald's often. Uh, for me, it's, you have to get the really expensive burgers there. Yeah. The the cheap ones are crap. Mm-hmm. The Jumbo Jack has gone way downhill. Yeah, the Jumbo Jack's not nearly as good as it used yeah. to be, which sucks because that was my uh, And I think that's mostly what people burgers. get is like the, either the Jumbo Jack or whatever crap specialty special they have going on. Yeah. And often those are their thin, terrible patties. Mm-hmm. What I'm talking about is the ultimate cheeseburger, yeah. which is like $8, uh-huh. <laughs> which is absurd. Um, no mayo, obviously, because gross. But it's just <laughs> two massive patties, two different types of cheese, ketchup and mustard. Yeah. And it, it is an amazing hamburger. Yeah. I love that burger. Mm-hmm. So... There you Jumbo go. Jack went in, I'll call it the heyday of Jack in the yeah. Box. The golden in, age. in its heyday, during the golden age of Jack in the Box, right. it was an upper tier fast food place yeah. that has been demoted. It's still A tier for me, years. probably, yeah. just because of that one burger. And their crappy tacos are still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> crappy, but good. Yeah. And good curly fries. Yeah. And uh, I really, so one that isn't a burger place, mm-hmm. Arby's. Yeah. I think Arby's Again, is pretty good. the other restaurant that is ripped apart constantly yeah, on the, the internet. Just regular old classic roast beef sandwiches. Here's the problem, though. Yeah. Arby's is one of the least consistent yes. fast food places I've ever Vastly been to. Vastly inconsistent. At its, at their best, yeah. the classic Delicious. roast beefs are some of the most, t- uh, are some of the tastiest sandwiches I've ever had. Hot, tender, juicy, delicious. And at their worst, they're gross. Yeah. Disgusting. Literally gross. Yeah. Not just, not just... Meh, but yeah, yeah. Because I would say it, the beef and cheddar, because yeah. I like cheese, is is quite good. Yeah, when it's and it good. basically comes down to the tenderness of the beef. Yeah, how 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 good was the cut they got this time? Mm-hmm. And probably freshness. And I, I mean, would assume, but. so on one end, that's probably a good sign that they're genuinely using real meat, and yeah. real meat does vary in how good it tastes. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, it does lead to a much less consistent experience, mm-hmm. and so you never kind of never know. And how often, good it's be. I know you would never get this, but often their specials mm-hmm. are really good. Yeah. Like around November, they usually do a deep fried turkey sandwich. Yeah. And I tried that once and I was like, this is insanely good. Like, what the heck? <laughs> the thing I loved at Carl's Jr. that they haven't done in a long time is when they would put other meats on yeah. burgers. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's like, a burger, here's but with some pulled pork on it. Yeah. Like, that was, inc- that was great. <laughs> I loved yep, that. They do that a lot. It's like, here's rib meat on a burger. Yeah. yeah. Like every time they did that, Brisket I would order burger that burger as long, as long as they made it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the classic is good. The Western bacon. Yeah. The Western yeah. bacon is what I usually get. Yep. Yep. Obviously you get it without the onion rings, but right. Cause I don't, like I, I would love all. onion rings on a burger. Also their breakfast burger yeah. is very good. 
It's yeah. like a hamburger, but with like eggs and bacon. I on haven't it. had any of their breakfast food, but it looks good. Yeah, I will say that's a very good burger. No. Yeah. yeah, I gotta try Carl's Jr. again. No, yeah. I guess I've never been to Shake Shack. I've never been to Fat Burger. I will say Shake Shack is great. Uh, but it's very expensive. Yeah. It's not worth it. I price. don't think we have any fat burgers in Oregon. No, so that's we don't. Why I haven't been to that, but, no, uh, I hear it's good, but yeah, yeah we don't know that. Now the single best burger I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah. And I think part of it was just that I was extremely hungry yeah, that when helps. I ate it and hunger is the best evening. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's a, a restaurant. It's not a chain. This is, there's a single restaurant in the world as far as I know. Um, Portillo's in California. It's mm-hmm. known. It's one of those places that like this is where the stars would come to eat. Yeah, and so they have pictures of. I think it's fairly well known, actually. Hollywood actors I've heard of it all over the outside wall. of you, but yeah, yeah. And I I went there and I ordered what I normally get when I buy a burger. Just it's a burger, bun, meat, ketchup. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I inhale this thing. And I'm like, this is the greatest oh burger God. I've ever had in my life. Oh my and I went and ordered another one and just and, and then <laughs> ate, ate it again to try. That's awesome. Get. I've been there one other time and it, it wasn't as good as I remembered. I had hyped it up too much. Yeah, it never is. In my mind. But it was still it's still one of the best burgers I've ever had. Yeah. Even even the second time I went. Nice. Um, yeah, as far as other top tiers we haven't mentioned yet mm. s tier yeah fast food restaurant is taco bell okay i am a taco bell fan okay cheesy gordita crunch they mm-hmm. got first of all they're one of the only places with pepsi instead of coke <laughs> yeah. because forget coke forever pepsi yeah. is forever see they i got the baja blast which is see, awesome i don't drink soda anymore so it doesn't really matter to me but that crappy nacho cheese, I love it. The fire <laughs> sauce, I love it. Cheesy gordita, Doritos tacos. When I, I was mean, a little kid, so good. I used to just get a cup of their taco meat and I would eat it with a spoon. Their beef is so good. I love <laughs> that Taco Bell flavor. Yeah, I'm a sucker for Taco Unfortunately, Bell. Unfortunately, Taco Bell has become one of the most expensive it fast is. food places crazy. for me to eat at, which is so bizarre because it used to be the cheapest. Yeah. It used to be, I can eat a full meal here for like $3. Yeah, now it's like, if you want three tacos, get ready to pay six fifty. Like At it's, least. At <laughs> least, yeah. yeah. Um, what's really nice is the app. I will say, I'm going to go into apps in a second. Applications. Oh, yeah. But the They've Taco kind of Bell revolutionized app, fast food, yeah, food restaurants. The Taco Bell app has a cravings box mm-hmm. that you can only get on the app. Yeah. And you can get cheesy gordita crunch, which is like four fifty on its own. Mm-hmm. Um, plus some other thing like a soft taco, crunchy taco, whatever. No. Um, plus chips and cheese, mm-hmm. plus a medium drink, so I can get like Pepsi or Baja Blast for no. six bucks, mm-hmm. six bucks even, no. which is pretty good for for like a full meal at a fast food place. Yeah. So that's often a go to for me is that no. meal because that's like perfect for me. That's like everything yeah. I want from Taco Bell. Yeah. So. Back when their tacos were like 79 cents right. <laughs> each, I would get like six of them, yeah. just regular tacos, and just eat Delicious. them all. Amazing. And it'd be like 4 or $5. Right. <laughs> it was great. And it's now no it's longer like, that cheap. <laughs> yeah. If you go there and order whatever you want, basically, mm-hmm. you're going to pay 14 bucks. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. But, again, the apps. I'm going to, like, talk about... Taco Bell's a good one, but mm. Wendy's and McDonald's, yeah. especially, which are two of my go-to places, yeah. their deals and like rewards programs are mm-hmm. insane. Yeah. When I go to McDonald's, I've I don't think I've I don't think I've paid full price for McDonald's for years at this point. Yeah. Like I can almost always get like buy buy a Big Mac, get one for fifty cents, mm-hmm. or get a large fry for only a dollar. And like or whatever. I feel like that uh the especially because i custom order everything yes and which, it's, it's yeah. so much better and on it's that. so much easier to do it's that so much instead better. of trying to explain to the person like okay i want this but not this and then add this and take away this and like and the know. worry of did they even hear that part or yeah. <laughs> way less anxiety at the drive-thru <laughs> and i don't get my order wrong as often right. when i when i get yeah. that so yes very that. true yeah even yeah you just and you feel like less of a jerk a little bit like uh-huh. yeah <laughs> You don't want to, I feel like I'm wasting their time a little bit sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like last night, uh, maybe it was even the night before, but I think it was last night. I went and got two Happy Meals mm-hmm. because they have the Pokemon cards in them mm-hmm. right now. So obviously I had to go get it. And, but with my rewards, 
uh, I had rewards for a free Happy Meal, mm-hmm. just straight up free. And so I got that one and I got the the Nugget Happy Meal, mm-hmm. which is like four or something. Yeah. And then I got a second Happy Meal, which was the hamburger one, which was only three eighty, a little cheaper. Yeah. And but because I ordered the the Nugget one first, that one was free. Mm. So I paid three eighty for two Happy Meals. Nice. <laughs> for like almost ten bucks worth of food. I'm like, this was awesome. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. If I can pay under five yeah. and be like super full, that's that's awesome. I used to, for for uh, for like a year, I, I ate at McDonald's a lot and I would get three McDoubles because yeah. they were they were on the dollar menu. Yeah. So for $3, Gosh, I had a whole so, meal. That's a lot of meat for $3. Yeah. It's like, it's like seriously, mm-hmm. it's insane. <laughs> and yeah. now they're, they're more expensive, but... Um, they're always buy one get one for a dollar. The only which is place really nice, like on, the only place in like the whole world, uh, or the, the, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm exaggerating. The only place around here that I can get a full meal for three dollars now is Costco food court because yep. <laughs> because they sell all their food at a Bro. loss. <laughs> it's still incredible. Like they yeah. raised the price of the chicken bake mm-hmm. went up a dollar, as well as some other like one of the ice cream things maybe or something. Yeah. But the pizza still $2 a slice. Yep. The hot dog and drink combo still a dollar 50. Like yep. that is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like I'm very proud of them for sticking it yeah. out, man. Well, I, one of their upper level executives was like, if yeah. you change the price I'll of the hot dog, you. I will kill you. <laughs> incredible. A, a, a hero of the people is what he mm-hmm. is. Uh, yeah. And not only that, it's a good hot dog and it's, good pizza yeah. also like delicious pizza <laughs> also i remember the first time we went to an ikea yeah we went to the upstairs like cafeteria yeah where they had the swedish oh, meatballs i love and the stuff. swedish meatballs they're so good and i was i was pretty disappointed with yeah. the food there because i'm just not a big swedish it's meatballs not your thing. guy I, I like i don't hate meatballs or anything i just yeah but then we get to we're we're leaving checkout and there's a little food court like an extra cafeteria all like the costco type stuff yep. they had hot dogs they had pizza slices cheap and dirt cheap so dirt cheap. i i ate still like, good there yep and it's decent stuff they have like good pretzels um which i love a good pretzel and yeah i love the the swedish meatballs i have a sliver <gasps> oh that's terrible yeah, it'd be nice if IKEA was closer. <laughs> yeah, for us, our IKEA is next to the airport, the Portland airport. Yeah, it's the so closest it's pretty one. Pretty far. Is... It's about an hour away. If there's if there's zero traffic, it's a half hour. Yeah, zero. But there's traffic. no such thing as yeah. zero traffic. No, impossible airport, in Portland. Basically. Yeah, except at like three a.m. Yeah, <laughs> and even then, you never know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's funny. We almost filled another hour. Can you believe it? Almost. Yep. Almost. <laughs> uh, uh, quick, something else. <laughs> um, I, 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 oh, uh, what? When I was, when I was a little kid, <laughs> there inside the Kmart, Kay. there was a Little Caesars. <gasps> yeah. Inside the Kmart. Heck yeah, there was. And they had this deep dish pizza that was incredible. Yeah. Now, Little this, Caesars is still good, but it was even better. Yeah. This is like nostalgia talking. So maybe it wasn't as good as I remember. Right. But boy, my memory of it is of just this uh, amazing thing. Yep. <laughs> also, Pizza Hut used to be better. Oh, Back, so much better. Because like, here's the, the thing. Best. They unapologetically used like totally fake cheese and yeah. it was great. It was delicious. And then they moved on to using the dirt cheapest real quote unquote yes. cheese. And it went down in Worse. quality. Yeah. Absolutely. Go back to the crap. Yeah. I preferred your dumb fake cheese yeah. that you called cheese, even though it's absolutely not real cheese. Like, and it was such a great, like, it was a sort of more of a family restaurant. Feel. Yeah. Uh huh. They usually had a buffet of some sort and stuff. And it was just awesome. Yeah. Like, it was a really nice place to go to. Yeah. And, and then now it became like so Domino's sad. used to be. Kinda. It's just really sad now. Yeah. Um, I'll get a calzone every once in a while. Dude, not, not when they for a do while. when they actually do calzones, they're great. Yeah, they're they're not bad. They seem to come and go. Yeah, like every couple of years, I'll yep. be like, oh, is, do they do pizzones right, right now? No. Now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when they first came out, they were insane. Yeah. They were huge and like too good for what they were. I don't know what it is about calzones, <laughs> but they're like pizza but better. 
Yeah, there's something about folding a pizza. It's in half. like <laughs> Papa John's. I don't like their pizza. Yeah, it's not very good. But, but their put the, their papadillas. The papadillas are really calzones good. Calzones are actually really good. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? I don't know why. And Papa's Papa's salami or whatever is great. <laughs> yeah. Thirty pizzas in thirty days. Thirty pizzas in thirty days. A reckoning day of reckoning. There a day of reckoning coming. is coming. Oh, I gosh. drank the garlic sauce. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. It's interesting to find to find out that people what people eat. Mm -hmm. People are psychos. I don't know if you've heard. I don't know if you <laughs> yes. know. That. I don't know if you know this. Oh yes. People eat breakfast at Starbucks. Okay. How? <laughs> Let, how I ask you? They have sandwiches, sort of. Yeah. They have like the worst breakfast sandwiches you could imagine. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Jimmy Dean like frozen oh, yeah. ones, uh -huh. but like ten times worse because those are actually okay. <laughs> and I just like, it's the same people in like California who eat at Dunkin' Donuts. Uh -huh. I'm like, why? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Go to McDonald's. That's yeah. at least food. <laughs> like, yeah, like I feel like that. Who, I feel like McDonald's is more real food than that. Yeah, like the people <laughs> who get their nice. morning coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, like, I'm why? like your sugar explosion. Do you, do you hate yourself? <laughs> I saw a TikTok of a Starbucks worker making like a frap. Oh yeah, and they're like, can't wait to make this adult humans their 6 a.m. milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm uh -huh. like, yep. I can't believe it's craziness. Um, we have a local donut shop. Uh -huh. Speaking of donuts, called oh, yeah. Every Day is Donut Day. Oh my goodness. It's heaven. They are a step it's above heaven. every other They're donut so place I've good. ever been to. Such good donuts. And as you, it's just some, you know, older couple or whatever. Yeah. Making it's donuts. It's just an in independent shop. But it's awesome. They're so yeah. good. And they know us, you know, so they give us extra donuts all the time for yeah. free. And just like, ah, oh, it's awesome. It's yeah. the best. Get yourself a local donut shop. Go find mm -hmm. local good donuts because yeah. it'll change your life forever. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Good times. Good right. times. And on that note. That's it. So if you eat at Starbucks, let me know in the comments so I can berate you further. Uh -huh. Also, find a better coffee yeah. at the same time. You can find better food and better coffee. <laughs> Think of the possibilities. Yeah. Also, go follow us on Twitter at the Brothers G Pod, please. Yeah. Or go check out our subreddit at r slash Brothers Game Podcast. Oh, that too. Mm -hmm. And let us know in the comments. Tell us about your favorite fast food. Hmm. What burgers are good? Why Why should we hate Arby's and don't for some reason? Yeah. Let us know. What, what, do you like pineapple on pizza? On pizza? Well, and yeah. the answer should be no. no but if it's yes, what's wrong with you? explain yourself. Yeah. You know what the issue is? It's not the pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's the other. It's the it's Canadian, the Canadian bacon. bacon. Yeah. That's is the Is that issue. what you the, the, don't like um, First of all, also, the pineapple chunks are always too big. Uh -huh. And they should be grilled or broiled in some way. Yeah. It should be caramelized a little bit mm -hmm. and they need to use a different meat than Canadian bacon because Canadian bacon sucks. <laughs> it's not good. I kind of agree. It's just bad ham. Yeah. Like find some sort of like spicy salami would be really good. Like a calabrese or a soppressata mm -hmm. would be excellent on that. Yeah. And then that would actually make the sweet contrast work. Yeah. And then maybe like something extra salty, like a balsamic glaze or something like they do at mod or whatever. Yeah. That you could make that work, okay? Mm. Anyway. But yeah, but just the classic Hawaiian pizza, yeah, is disgusting, garbage. Anyway. So there you go. <laughs> have a gonna have a nice day. So uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> let us know what you think about that, and uh, anyway, go download, download the podcast. Download, please. Goodbye. Bye.